so we have been using that Harbor Freight air compressor and while it works okay on small tires, I've always had okay results on 33s. It is just not working on the truck as well. It keeps overheating in this warmer weather. And uh, so what we decided to do was buy an ARB twin air compressor. And we got the accessory pack. We got the air compressor pump up kit and we got the digital tire inflator as well. So let's open some of these up and see what we got here. Now for $850, you could get a, this all put it in, all of this combination put together in a carrying case. And at Harbor Freight, they've got these new Apache rugged mobility boxes. I guess you could say they're waterproof waterproof uh, but since we are not going to be submitting submersing this into water it should work okay for what we're gonna do so it looks just like a cheese uh, pelican case yeah it's a pelican case and it's got foam in here so you can kind of cut it out to however you want and it's padded so what we're gonna do is figure out how to make all this stuff kind of fit in here so that we have a nice place to keep it and the air compressor. All right, let's take a quick gander at what we got here today. Let's take a look at the ARB tire inflator. This is probably overpriced, but buy it once and cry once, right? So looks like it'll just hook to your tire right there and hold it. And then all you gotta do is fill it up here. This is all digital. It's got PSI, KPA, bar, battery powered, of course. Looks fairly good. So I think what I'm gonna do is take out this cutout piece here, and then I'm gonna make this part work inside that new box that I've got, and hold this. Then this part will be held in there. And it's already cut out this size, so that'll be nice. And that just automatically turns off when it's after it times out. So we'll set that aside. And we've got the ARB compressor pump up kit to go along with this. So basically, this is just a nice hose setup. Okay, and here we've got the ARB uh, dual air compressor. Let's take a look at what we got here. So it comes in the box. Uh, instruction manual. You got your dual air compressor right here. Air filters to go with it. Looks like a nice uh, wiring switch and some bolts. Wiring harness. And move the wiring harness for the power supply from the battery. Okay, we've got our box here. So this is from Harbor Freight. This is their new line, Apache, this is an Apache 4800. Also, we're going to take our um, little gauge here and our hose and make all that kind of fit in here. So what I'm going to do is cut out this foam, probably about halfway here, so this compressor will go down further. And then I'm going to figure out a mounting, a way to mount this in the box and keep airflow going around it while it's open. And then we'll just cut out some places for this stuff to go in. So I'm going to do that in time lapse. It's 95 degrees and I would like to run my port cool while messing around here because it's hotter than hell right now. Well, I'm sure hell's a lot hotter, but probably hotter. Never been. But I'm assuming it's hard. So what we'll do is uh, do this in time lapse and kind of cut stuff out, make things fit, and go from there. And then I'll
Okay, so I decided to switch this up a little bit when I was talking about it before. I'm gonna use this to hold all my like uh, tire stuff in here. So I've got a hose, I've got the air pressure gauge here. I don't know, I don't need those. I don't know why I put them in there. Old habits die hard. That's a higher pressure one. Bad. Okay, so we've got in here we've got and we pull out this top layer here of foam. And I basically just put my ARB tire repair kit in there and I'm gonna put this I'm gonna put this valve stem removal tool in here and then just an extra ARB chuck air air chuck in there. And then I'm gonna put this up here so it just sits on here because most likely I won't be using the tire repair kit that often. If I do, I'll just pull out this top layer here. So that's in. And then we just put our hose in here. Like so. And some extra patches and stuff right there. And everything is go it's pretty nice nice case back from uh harbert fraught one more time get one more case all the other stuff all the hose the air pressure gauge and tire repair kit went in the other one so i got this one for the compressor itself so what i'm gonna do is drill some holes back here for mounting this inside and this will be get portable and then I'm gonna hook up wiring so I can just run it right to the back. So far, I have mounted the air compressor up inside the, the box here. There's plenty of room for it to stay cool and run. And then we have our wiring harness here that goes to the battery. So what I'm trying to do is make this a portable unit. I want to be able to use it more in one vehicle instead of just mounting it to the vehicle. So that's going to go there. And then this harness can just sit in here when it's not in use, be all tucked away on this side. And then I'll get some alligator clips and hook this to the positive and negative. All right, just got back from the store. Uh, so what I wanted to do, I bought a <clears throat> jumper cable set. I'm just gonna cut off one side here. I'm gonna hook the positive to positive leads and then the negative to the negative. So we'll just cut these off right about here. Okay, we're just gonna hook those together. So we took some Got some heat shrink here. I'm gonna just slide this down before we do our other stuff. So that's together. Then just take your positive wires and twist them like overlapping like this. Clamp them lightly so you can use your other hand. And I'm just going to take a little bit of this uh, soldering flux here. Then you just take a torch, turn it way, way, way down, get your 
solder and just warm it up a little bit. Now that this side's cool, you can just pull your heat shrink down over it, slide it over. Try and put your joint about in the middle of that, then take your torch. Boom. This side's done. That side is cool enough now. Okay, we're done now with that. That will be our power source for the air compressor. Now we can just kind of coil everything back up for here. So off camera, I made this little guy, um, just a little scrap piece of aluminum. So what I'm gonna do is take and connect it right here on the side of this. Here is the switch holder, what are we gonna call it, for what we're doing here. So I'm just gonna take the handy dandy rivet gun. We're gonna put a couple rivets through this. Sweet. There's one. Three more to go. All right. Rivets are in. I'll put this piece of plastic back where it goes. Okay, this is going to be our switch right here. Grab some pliers here. This doesn't have to be super tight, just enough not to come off anymore. ARB double compressor onboard air. So let's see how that works. Let me pull in the Land Cruiser and uh, hook up to the batteries and make sure everything works. Okay, so let's do a quick little test. I have to get one more wire connector tomorrow because I can't quite finish. The stores are probably closed because of coronavirus. Let's turn that one off. We're just gonna make a jumper lead from the battery though, for now. So, we got our power leads here from the battery. We've got our wiring that comes into the pump. We've got our wires run underneath here to our switch. And then this wire here is going to be hooked up to the positive. This wire here is going to be hooked up to the positive on the coming from the battery. So we can turn it on and off. So here's our switch. We've got it jumpered to 12 volt positive till tomorrow when we can get our wiring tie in. Here we go. Just gotta get a uh, plug for that. I don't, 
or another fitting, whatever, to put on there. Maybe I can fill two tires at once. That'd be kind of sweet. So there she is. Compressor in a box.